thank you very much for joining me for this Bryson Adishambeau nine hole cup rookie walkthrough video. In this video, we're gonna walk through the shots we're gonna use on the Juniper Point course from the front tees. If you haven't played this course before, I just want you to know it's been around for a while and we're gonna have to really dial it in and get some hot scores if we're gonna banner in this nine hole. Remember, you always wanna play the course according to your clubs, your balls, and your skill level. If you're not yet subscribed to Airlick Gaming, do that now so you don't miss out on any of my future content. Thank you so much, let's get into it. Hole number one, and we're basically playing this one to get it as close to the green or on as possible. Now, you see, I do contemplate having that quarterback there, but instead, I decide it is best to bring an extra mile and a Titan ball. Now, you might even want to bring a Zerk here, depending on the situation, but I chose this shot. As you can see, we do have headwind here, and with an EM7, which is a pretty common club, I'm giving it max OP and, like, I'd say about a half a ball of left curl. You can give it basically max left curl here with tailwind this thing is going to be rolling past the green with this much overpower so we're just going to really have to play it to the wind conditions that we have but as you can see nice bounce lots of room to get up and over there in the tailwind just be aware of that bunker on the right it is absolutely in play but nonetheless we are left then with a nice little chip shot this one plays quite a bit downhill so don't be afraid to kind of you know back up your landing position just a little bit you'll see that i come I come close you know to having a mishap here however i just continue to play my end bringer shots with the 20 percent rule and it seems to be working out pretty darn good so just set it up here you want to have a nice clean adjustment you know you, know, you can use whatever wedge you like of course but all in all this is the way that works out well for me and as you can see a nice little hit bump and a roll Ooh, we'll take that pin i'll see you on hole number two Hole number two, and I like to play this par three like a no moving target. As you can see, I'm giving it, as my notes say, about one back and 0.5 left spin here with a navigator ball. And I happen to have a Goliath in my bag at this point. I don't think it's going to particularly matter which long iron you use for this play on this hole. It's just going to come down to execution. Now, we do have a strong wind here. I was playing this shot in tour play. Um, so again, we're probably not going to see a wind of 8.7 in the tournament. So you might need to lay off the backspin a little bit, depending on what we see. However, that's the play up and easy. I'll see you on number, number three. Welcome to hole number three. This is the first par five here. And I'm playing this shot with, you know, a level five extra mile. And I've got a Quasar ball. Max top, max right. I do recommend a Titan ball here. As you can see, I'm going to have to use a little bit of overpower here. I'm estimating the wind push. I didn't adjust um, for this shot back when I took it. However, the concept is generally absolutely the same. We're going to go up and over adjusting at 10% max over that left fairway bunker and bringing it down as far as we can here on the right hand side somewhere up near this fairway marker so 359 that means I'm coming in with a long iron now this shot here I do play this at 10% medium distance and I'm using a couple of bars of backspin however if you are playing a little bit further back it's nice to bring you know a sniper in your bag or sometimes i've seen people play this shot even with a horizon i mean it all depends on what you prefer and how long you're able to get your drive now that shot that i showed you on the drive there is a play through the trees it's not horrible but i've always enjoyed playing up over this left side i'm just gonna have to see what wind they give us in this short nine hole cup and we'll have to make the best play we can on the fly nonetheless a very very close chance for an albatross here on number three hole number four looks like it's going to be a really fun par three i'm playing this one here with a marlin ball and a sniper as you can see we're giving it like 3.8 bars of backspin and one bar of left spin and we adjust this shot here at 20 percent minimum distance so i should be pulling about 3.6 rings here now i didn't have my grid up or anything for the shot but nonetheless nice clean straight 
pull. Now, we do have still a strong left to right wind, but the slope that we're landing on is a right to left slope. It's going to kick us left. And as you can see, we come very close. We do have a good line here. So this is a nice looking par three and good luck. Hole number five is a par five that I believe we last played during the state side classic. Max top about one bar of the current left spin value. And I play this one here with an extra mile and a Titan at 20% max adjustment. And as you can see, even with that uh, four and a half bars of top spin, we do have a nice little kind of a collector, a little sort of a valley that we're going to be landing in up here. You're going to see we're going to bounce on this fairway uh, nicely here up over that big water hazard and rolling it down. See, there's like a little funnel down the green here or down the fairway. You can go too far, but, uh, you know, even if you want to take it easy, three top should be absolutely sufficient. Second shot, then I'm playing with a sniper at 10 percent maximum adjustment now i'm bringing this one in my note says two back 0.5 left remember these spin values on side spin some of these shots are a little bit older so take note of that uh, and 0.5 would equate to the current spin now i only have a sniper six in this shot so if you don't have now see my left edge of that red ring touching the the rough line there that's a good indicator of where we kind of want to be and take a look at the second bounce as well there is a little sharp slope that runs just to the left of the flag here um, but a sniper seven is going to absolutely be your best friend sniper seven or plus for this shot nonetheless absolutely good opportunity to get ourselves an albi on this hole number five hole number six and we have one of the par fours that i remember playing in the game when i absolutely first started you see me here playing with the quasar at an extra mile max top max right now i did recommend playing with a titan ball i know it might seem a lot silly but it helps you get a lot closer to the gap in the trees meaning that you won't have to overpower or do anything like that this is also a really good spot where you could play a rock quasar thor's hammer anything that has good accuracy and you don't really need much side spin here so uh just a straightforward perfect ball you do want to thread the needle here and get it down the middle of this very narrow stretch of fairway i think that's the most challenging part right there that drive you have to be careful we do want to get it a little further if you can however from this distance you can see looking up to the flag we are adjusting negative 10 percent uphill adjustment at medium distance i am playing the thorn which is you know one of my favorite clubs in the bag two bars of backspin and i'm lining it up directly at the flag now you do see i have a fairly generous win for this situation however that negative 10 percent should play through the tournament uh, you know unless we have a strong headwind and at that point we may need to to give it a little more to compensate for that extra wind push so setting it up nicely here thorn negative 10 mid Two bars of backspin should give us a very, very good look at this at this shot every single time. Good luck, and we'll see you on the next one. Hole number seven, and we have ourselves the final part three of the game. Now, you see me setting this shot up with a Titan ball and a sniper. That's no mistake. That is the plan. 10% medium distance on this no moving target adjustment. I give this one here with this particular 2.6 cross tail wind one bar of top spin and 0.25 bars of right spin. So, you know, about 0.3 or so. And the thing with this one is we're just going to have to play with the wind and understand exactly what Playdemic is giving us in the short amount of time that a nine hole cup offers. But you see here from this example, this is an absolutely excellent way to play this hole, to simplify the process and give yourself a great chance of getting a drop. I'll see you on the hole number eight. Hole number eight, and we have a par four that I think is really going to change, you know, going to change the tone of the tournament. It's going to make or break many players' rounds. I suggest bringing a Titan here or even a Zerk, but I wanted to demonstrate to you this shot that I have that includes a basic ball. I'm still setting this up with my extra mile, um, and I'm going to give it max top. Now, normally I would give this one like probably max right spin as well. The idea is here with a lot of overpower and a little bit of luck. We're basically trying to bounce on this first pad. You're going to see right now bouncing there. We're going to try to bounce on that one and get over the bunker. And you can absolutely do that uh, without a lot of trouble, um, depending on the win. Second shot, then at the very worst, you're going to be left here with a very short and very makeable sand shot. 
possibility to be in the rough there as well. Um, however, you could also be putting, and I guarantee you we're going to see some players that are going to drop this one, even in the short time frame that we have. Good luck, and we'll see you on the final hole. Hole number nine, and I'm playing this one basically for an eagle. You see me, again, having a lower-level ball like a Quasar, which is absolutely acceptable. I'm giving this one max left, but just be very, very careful with the topspin. I only gave it like half a bar of topspin. Depending if you have a strong tailwind, you might even use a little bit of backspin. I also recommend using a Titan Ball or at least a Katana so that you can set up a little closer to this first hazard and just play a very cautious shot bouncing here on the first fairway up over and onto that sort of like island second fairway patch you're going to see here. So 10%, I played that shot. And you see here, we're bouncing over that long hazard. And we want to land somewhere nicely on here. Now, there's, of course, going to be those players that can really get a nice power hook here. Uh, power slice hook, you know, the big power shot. Second shot here, I remember watching Neo sink this back in the day. But for many, many rookie players, this is going to be an eagle hole more often than not. I'm giving this max right and a couple of bars of backspin. And the idea being here, of course, I'm just trying to get this one to green. Um, there's a lot of opportunities to sink a lot of shots on this course. And I just don't see this being the one that's going to be an amazing opportunity for you. Hey, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Send me the shots. Help me out. I want to help you. Please help me as well. But again, after a really good round, I think we're going to want to just play it carefully here. Get it down. Green side, somewhere that we can work with. And boy, oh boy, it's nice to see this old course back in action. We'll see you out there. Thank you so much for watching my Bryson DeChambeau Nine Hole Cup Rookie Walkthrough video. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, leave them in the comment section below. And don't forget, subscribe now and hit that thumbs up button on the video so you don't miss out on any of my future Golf Clash content. And good luck in the tournament.